Dude, it's like 2 a.m. I should probably go get ready for bed. It's a new season, you idiot. Really? Tonight at like 2 a.m.? Really? Yeah, I think it's... Dude, it's live literally right now. <laughs> my God! You're right! And my monitor is covered in water. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in season six of Modern Warfare, potentially the final season of Modern Warfare. And as per every season, what we do, the very first video is check out the battle pass, discuss what's worth it, what's not, what you should get, what you shouldn't get, and everything in between. Uh, just basically to make it so that you know what you should spend your money on and what you shouldn't spend your money on. So we're going to go through everything in the battle pass within this video, talk about what is coming throughout season six. And then later today, I'm also going to have a video going over all of the little changes and uh, various different playlist updates, store items within season six. So that we'll get into later today. This video is all about the battle pass, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we are getting closer and closer to 1 million subscribers and checking out my analytics. Only about 35% of the people who normally watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date on everything Call of Duty, we have tons of news coming with season six, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, and everything in between. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, all that good jazz. But without further ado, Let's check out the battle pass. So what you're seeing here is the main screen for the battle pass. The basic breakdown. This is what I meant before when I said season six is getting a little bit spooky. As you can see, the bats flying around and all of that jazz. So let's actually look at what is inside the battle pass. So first of all, as per every season, you have your instant rewards. These are the things that you get immediately upon buying the battle pass. And buying the battle pass, as you can see here, you have two options. The 1,000 COD points or the 2,400 COD points. The only difference is with the 2,400 COD points, you also get an extra extra 20 tiers on top of that as well now your instant rewards first of all you get some skins for Farah, which honestly looking pretty dope the second thing that you get um, is a new skin for minotaur really nothing special here i actually originally thought that was nikolai but we'll get there um, after this you have the gilded arm this is a uh, new version of the ak-47 as you can see actually looking pretty dope and then, of course, your Season 6 XP boost. So this makes it so that you level up faster throughout the entirety of Season 6. After this, we get to our first weapon blueprint. This one's actually a free one at rank 1. This one's called the Traveler. As you can see here, it's a marksman rifle. Looking pretty cool. Kind of going with the Farah theme. After this, we have the Strength from Within calling card. Some double weapon XP. An emblem. And then we get to something kind of cool. It is actually a melee weapon called Innocence Lost. And it's a screwdriver. Yeah, a screwdriver melee weapon. Honestly, pretty cool. Didn't see that one coming. After this, some free Call, Call of Duty points, 100 COD points at rank 6. This is free. You don't have to buy the battle pass for this one. After this, you get one hour of double XP. And then at rank number 8, a really, really cool looking Desert Eagle, in my opinion. This is probably one of my favorite Desert Eagle variants. Relatively simple, but I just think it looks good. After this, a skin for the ATV with inside Warzone and Ground War. Then we get our first character skin that's um, not an instant reward. This one is for Zane called the Level Headed. Honestly, a pretty decent looking skin. Nothing too crazy though. After this, you get a horn pack. So this is the Modern Warfare War Track pack. So with this, you get three different versions of it. The first of which is this. This is actually music from back in Modern Warfare 1. This is music from Modern Warfare 2. And then finally, Enter Dubai from Modern Warfare 3. Bringing back some memories. Honestly, kind of cool. Uh, after this, 100 COD points, an hour of double weapon XP, another spray. And then we get to our first free weapon. So this is the SPR-208. Now, this one is a sniper rifle. Basically, this is your R700. As you can see, it comes base without a scope. Of course, you can unlock one. The description of it is reliable, hard-hitting, .300 wind bolt action rifle from Sloan Precision. This weapon's extensive military military and civilian use gives rise to an abundance of customization so in other words whole bunch of attachments for this bad boy and honestly looking pretty slick pretty cool um, and of course as i said before you can put a scope on here i'm really interested in trying it out to see how it does in warzone though for sure after this calling card some more cod points and then we get edward aka edward the bat aka a new execution aka here it is so just like the uh, bird executions, no different. This time it's just with a bat. After this, we get our another character skin. This one is for Gaz called On the Rocks. I, I like Gaz as a character. This is kind of like more of a winter themed pack for Gaz. After this, a weapon blueprint called the Al Rook. 
Yeah, I'm probably saying that wrong. This one has tracers on it, and it's obviously for the AUG. Then there is a bat weapon charm, pretty straightforward. Then our next free weapon is at rank 24 called the Ufaja. I'm probably saying that wrong. This one kind of has this like blood theme to it. Looking pretty decent, and we're going to see this theme continue on some other things throughout the battle pass as well. Speaking of which, at rank 26, you get the same kind of thing, this time on a vehicle, and honestly, looking pretty gross. Like, I don't know what you hit, but it was big. After this, at rank 27, you have the Finger Trap. This one is for the R90, I believe. Nothing too fancy. Kind of once again going with that Farah theme. You have tape on the handles and so on. At rank 28, you have another War Track pack. This one is called the Hip Hop Edition. These I don't think I can play or I will get a copyright strike on my channel. So uh, you can just imagine what they are. Next up at rank 30, we have the Killer Hornet. This one is a Wyatt skin relatively straightforward kind of like yellow and black with your normal military theme and then the next free weapon is at rank 31 as per usual this is the as val now the description of this one is chambered in subsonic 9 by 39 millimeter and integrally suppressed the as val is a powerhouse built for stealth accuracy and penetration any lady's dream this weapon will excel in the hands of an operator able to control heavy recoil and a high rate of fire this is going to be interesting to see how good of a close range weapon this actually is i think it's going to be really good in mp really curious to see how this does in warzone because generally speaking low recoil weapons are the ones that do well in warzone so we'll have to wait and see after this some more cod points a watch this is, i believe is our first watch a free calling card and then our next weapon blueprint this one is called the forbidden wish this one's basically red with some like devil on it and so on looking pretty cool moving on to our next weapon this is at rank 38 called the desert bloom i believe this one is for the mp5 yep and uh, as you can see kind of like a bluish with brown kind of skin honestly i like this one quite a bit then we have a free vehicle skin this one called from the deep you kind of have the kraken on the side of the jeep there and then domino skin this one is at rank 40 once again kind of going with that blue theme that we saw with gaz before then some cod points and another weapon blueprint called the red sparrow this one is for the 357 magnum relatively straightforward on this one nothing too fancy then another horn pack this one is called the black ops war track pack kind of interesting that they put black ops music into this game as you can hear the main theme from black ops one called pentagon interesting to see them put this into an infinity ward game once again kind of going with that crossover that i think we're going to see more and more throughout season six the next weapon blueprint is called the manzanilla probably saying that wrong you'll notice in the background that there is a pumpkin once again going with that halloween theme you have the skull right underneath me here this one is an assault rifle blueprint i believe this is for the odin with the colossus suppressor on it with the gold and black kind of theme kind of looking like a little louis vuitton the next free thing is another hundred cod points calling card and then another operator skin for golem again a relatively straightforward operator skin generally speaking we get the cooler operator skins in bundles um after this we have the blue note i actually really really like the look of this one unfortunately it's for a gun that i don't use very much uh, but i, I just kind of like the blue weapon skins you don't get too many of them uh, after this you get a weapon charm uh at, called the fighting chance at rank 54 and then a free crossbow blueprint and i must say i really like the look of this one it's kind of got this like white black and gold theme going on with it really like it really straightforward fortunately i don't use the crossbow much after this some more cod points and then at rank 59 you have i believe for the dragonoff foreign relations this one's a white and black skin once again pretty straightforward after this we've got a thorn skin looking like he's straight out of baltimore or i don't know where that is in the background and then after that a free watch at rank 61 kind of looks like a damascus watch does it not it says oxidize but to me that's looking pretty damascus then after this, another horn pack. This seems to be what they're doing. This is the EDM edition. Again, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to play any of these because YouTube will take down my channel. After this, a exoskeleton weapon blueprint. This one is for the pistol. And honestly, pretty straightforward here. It almost looks like it's made from like a paint job back from Black Ops 3. 100 COD points, more double weapon XP, another ch weapon charm, and then an Alice skin called Perfect Cover. Again, nothing too fancy here. 
After this, another weapon blueprint. Again, you can see in the background, we got pumpkins. It's the Halloween theme. This one is called the Icky Banna. Probably saying this wrong. This one is for a marksman rifle. Nothing too fancy on this one. Then we have a free sticker, some more double XP, some more COD points, and then a new helicopter. This was called Flight of Torment. And uh, yeah, it uh, look, kind of looks like a dragon. That's my best explanation of it. Moving on to rank 76, we have the Breath of the Gods. This one is an LMG blueprint. Nothing too fancy to say about this one. Free calling card, which I believe Nikolai on there. Kind of hard to see, though. Uh, so more XP and then a rain skin called the Night Out. Reigns, looking like he's ready to hit the town. Wearing all black. Probably going out on a nice date. Look at those thighs. Barely fitting in the pants. Rocking it. Pretty cool. After this, a free weapon blueprint. This one, I believe, is an assault rifle here. Yeah, it is an assault rifle called the Rottweiler. Rottweiler? Is that how you spell Rottweiler? I'm not very good at spelling, apparently. Um, but this one's got the underbarrel explosive grenades, which I almost never use, and not too fancy of a blueprint. Uh, some more COD points, more at double XP, another weapon charm. So then at rank 85, we have the Darkwood, which is, I believe, a blueprint for the R700, aka the new marksman rifle. This one has the variable zoom scope on it and uh, the Norma 5R mags, which I have actually haven't looked at what those are yet, but I believe it changes the damage on the weapon, but we'll have to check once we actually look more at the weapon. After this, at 86, you get another sticker, more double XP, a spray, and then another weapon blueprint uh, called the Portal. I believe this one's for the VLK, which is a shotgun that I never use. I really hate it. Probably will never use this variant, uh, even though it does kind of look cool. After this, I'm not even going to try to say the name of this one, but this is a Bale skin. Uh, you may notice at this point, there doesn't seem to be any Milsim skins in this battle pass, which is kind of strange. They've been there the past two. After this, we get a pretty cool watch. It's like a holographic watch called the Strange Magic. This is at rank 93, getting towards the top. Then we have an MP7 blueprint. This one kind of looking black and goldish, maybe more gray and goldish. And then the next big thing we get is pretty much at rank 100, which is, of course, Nikolai called the Arms Broker. Uh, a couple of different skins for him looking pretty dope. You don't unlock him till tier 100. Then we also get something called the Malfast. This is a variant on the AS Val. First of all, looks really dope. Has some cool attachments on it. The only thing I don't love is the Dragonov scope. But other than that, looking pretty damn cool. And then you get a truck called the Grizzly End at rank 100 as well. And then, of course, the icon for season 6. So this is everything within the Battle Pass. The thing that I will say, that I say every single time when a Battle Pass comes out, if you buy the 1,000 COD point Battle Pass, you actually earn Call of Duty points if you complete it. I believe it's like 1,300 Call of Duty points that you get by the very end. If you spend the 2400 and buy those extra tiers, yes, you'll get the new weapons faster, but you won't be actually making any COD points by the end of the season. That is essentially the difference between the two, and that's what you need to know about buying the Battle Pass. I recommend doing the 1000 point Battle Pass. Um, it just saves you some money in the long run, and you actually earn some Call of Duty points in the long run. So that's my recommendation, but if you have money to spare, you want to get those weapons quicker, get the 2400 COD points. As far as what we have in this battle pass, I like that there's two operators. We have Nikolai and Farah. Uh, as far as the weapon blueprints, I would say they're kind of meh. Nothing crazy good. Uh, the character skins, it appears as though we're going to be getting better character skins within the store. And that is pretty much it. But as per usual, I want to hear what you guys have to say. If you like this battle pass, let me know down in the comments. If you hate it, let me know. If you have some thoughts on it, let me know. All of that kind of jazz. If you enjoyed the video, it is always appreciated if you do hit that like button. And if you want to join me on the road to 1 million subscribers, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. We're going to have another video today going over everything that changed within this update. Um, but I'll see you in that video. If not, check out my Twitch. All of that good jazz. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're